What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the overall market, XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as the S&P 500. In yesterday's episode, we noticed some very interesting movements forming on some of these major cryptocurrencies. But in today's video, I do want to focus on each one separately. Today's video might go a little bit longer than I had suggested or planned. It might be like closer to 15 or 16 minutes. Um, but what I'm starting to notice is some very interesting pad patterns forming on each cryptocurrency different than all of them working you know uh, similarly together usually when we see bitcoin correct we saw all of them start to form that same pattern and then when bitcoin starts to see some volume inside of it it does decide to head up some of these cryptocurrencies usually follow through but I'm noticing some very interesting patterns on uh, some of the major leading cryptocurrencies. I'm seeing XRP actually bottom out where some people might not actually see what exactly is happening. And when you zoom out, you can kind of get that better understanding of how we might actually be starting to head back up. Uh, as well as with Ethereum and Bitcoin, even Litecoin for that matter, Bitcoin is starting to repeat itself, which looks very similar. And then we are seeing some double bottoms form on most of the major altcoins. So we're definitely in for some very interesting movements and we may actually be able to capitalize off the next couple of runs coming in the next few days so if you are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the youtube algorithm make sure to follow me on twitter at crypto v official this way if you have any questions comments or concerns you can dm me over there otherwise let's jump right into today's episode All right, guys, as you can see, I am on the current coin market cap and actually the entire market is overall down. You can see most of these altcoins are actually down about five to seven percent. And I don't actually think this is a bad thing. It's pretty much allowing us to get a better understanding as it's starting to fill out patterns that we had originally thought yesterday may not be true. They seem to be kind of coming into place in today's video. And I find it extremely important as towards how we can go around capitalizing off these runs moving forward in the future. Future. So I just want to give you guys my own in-depth personal analysis on the way these altcoins are looking and then just pretty much how I might be going around trading these cryptocurrencies, buying in long, selling short, um, creating stop losses, things like that. So to jump right into things, as you can see, most coins right now are about down 7 to 8%, I would say. So I want to start with XRP here. So Yesterday's video, we talked about XRP forming some sort of sideways consolidation, a slight consolidation into the coin. And this is pretty much where we discussed that if we were able to stay above this support right here, there was a good chance we could start to see a small swing back up to retest 50 cents. We also discussed here on BitYard, if I pulled up the XRP chart, the discussion on the four hour chart, no, it maybe it was the daily, I believe. Yes, the daily was if we were able to hug closer to, or I think it was a four hour, um, hug these moving averages right here. This is where we were yesterday and we held the five and 10 day, we would be able to slowly swing back up. So unfortunately we did start to swing lower and you can see we are only kind of hanging out right at the five day moving average but we now have to pretty much wait for the 10 and then eventually 20 day moving average to kind of come back down for us to retest here so yesterday we did decide to head a little bit lower but here's something that i didn't notice yesterday that i want to talk about today so yeah, the coin did fall just a little bit. And no, it didn't create some sort of double top, uh, double bottom. Really what I would be looking for ideally to invest long term is to see or short term is to see something like this. I wanted to see a double bottom and then a swing back up. But unfortunately, we actually managed to break lower than the prior uh, low. And this isn't necessarily a good sign. But what I noticed, which I didn't see yesterday, was if we swing ourselves out to the daily, um, a lot of people were talking about bearish divergences forming on the coin. But what I'm starting to notice here is this is a huge support level that we are retesting. So unfortunately, yes, there is some sort of lower highs that we are setting. You can see the two right here. This is uh, clearly a, um, a, a reference to what could be a bearish market. But what I'm starting to notice is we are retesting a very key and vital support right here. You can see that this is clearly what we're hitting on and we're starting to have some support levels. So... Um, I want to give you guys the runaround. This is kind of what's, you know, what I'm theorizing in my head. And I want to just, you know, tell you guys what I'm thinking. So you can see right now, the fact that the markets are creating these higher lows, 
What we're really waiting for is obviously a break above the prior high, but they're not uh, really ideally retestable currently because they're closer to 56 cents and there'd be a pretty big swing. But I'm starting to notice the fact that we are testing that bottom support. There are other highs that we can retest on the four hour. Uh, 47 would be one, 49 would be the other, so on and so forth to the upside. So what I'm noticing right now is this is a major, major support level. These levels right here, the uh, 40 cents and the 42 cents support levels on the moving average on the daily we look okay otherwise on here and i want to show you guys a few things really quick um where is it you can see how undervalued the MACD is currently right now, uh, how over or underextended we are as they are fairly separated. But what I'm starting to notice is this is the big opportunity and I wouldn't be buying in. So right now, the way these markets are playing out is there's a ton of uncertainty throughout the market. There's a ton of uncertainty. Not many people understand or can figure out exactly when to be buying in or when to be selling short. So we kind of have to work off of a few things. So we have to set up a price ceiling and a price floor. And then we have to understand and if we break that price ceiling, there's a good chance we'll swing up even higher. Vice versa, if the price floor, that bottom support level is broken, we know that there's a good chance volume is going to dump the price lower. And I do believe it's going to go and act in one of two ways. I don't think we're just going to see a small trickle downwards. I think we are going to see a big wicked candle that pulls us down or a big a big candle of, of, of a sort about this size that would either break us lower or higher up. So mainly what I'm going to be waiting for is whether or not we break through these key vital support levels. Levels. You can see clearly um, right here, this is the resistance that we're currently battling 46 cents. So what I'm going to be waiting for the next couple of days, and unfortunately, we can't make a trade instantly today. I know I, as much as I want to, we can't on XRP just yet, but I would be waiting for the coin to swing up and breach through this resistance. If we see 46 cents broken and the coin manages to bounce off support and close above 46 cents, then I would be fairly bullish on the coin eventually being able to swing back up to 54 cents. And vice versa, this vital support that we're currently retesting at 39 cents and at 42, if we manage to fall lower, retest, maybe bounce off here, and then slowly start to break below here, then I would be fairly bearish on the coin as it wouldn't be able to break through its uh, prior high, or its prior uh, lower highs, and we were probably going to be heading down even lower, probably closer to, I would say, 30 cents, and then eventually 25 cents. So yes, I am saying the price could go up. I am saying the price could go down, but it's pretty much with good nature. I'm a conservative trader here on the channel, so we have to wait for the conservative time to be buying in. Not, I'm not a high risk uh, trader. I don't wait for uh, to just jump right in, get in, get out and make a ton of money um, as because as much as you can profit off of that, it's not a long term realistic play and you can lose a lot of money at the same time. So we're waiting as a conservative approach. If we see the coin eventually start to swing back up, reach through this resistance right here, you can see what that's actually doing is it's allowing us right here to break above this prior resistance and break above the prior, um, you know, higher low that's that we're kind of creating on the four hour charts. And what it will allow us to do is if we manage to close back above here, we're going to head probably even higher up to what I would think is 51 cents and then as high as 54 or 56 cents. So I'm just being fairly conservative right now. How I would invest in this, my strategy strategy would be to wait on XRP. Um, obviously, I would have some sort of funding, something in my balance for uh, XRP or USDT on BitYard, which I did link in the description if you want to check out. And the second I see confirmation where we're able to close above that level right here above the 46 cents support, which would look right around here. So we have to really just breach and retest the um, resistances closer to the 20 day moving average. If we can hit the 20 day moving average, then there's a really big shot we'll be able to swing back up and then retest the 40 day moving average closer to 50 to maybe 53 cents. So that's really what I'm waiting for. The coins don't look like they want to head even lower. It's still possible, but I don't think so. I mean, even on the, um, you know, the daily moving averages here, you can see that the 40 day moving average is being retested currently. So it is signifying some sort of very strong bottom. And I think it'd be very difficult for the coin to break through there. Obviously, if we're going to guess or, or figure that the coin's going to swing back up. And you can see why I'm, you know, hesitant on the 51 to 52 cent as a key reversal range is because this is pretty much the tops of the 10 and 20 day moving average. 
I would be buying in long. I can put it in like this, putting in a thousand with maybe we'll do. Let's say we do a ten times leverage at a thousand right here. You're literally now uh, putting in and investing on the assumption that the coin is going to be swinging up higher. You can then buy long with the leverage right there, and then obviously the position would fill, and you'd be get uh, you know getting a ten times reward back on the profits of it swinging higher. Once you create that, you can then set a stop loss higher than where you bought in to kind of cover your losses and at least break even and not lose. Money. Money. You can also then go on to the demo account, which I highly recommend. I did, uh, like I said, I did link BitYard in the description, but you can play around with this if you want to. Uh, uh, if you're certain that the coin is going to be swinging back up, as a lot of these coins are starting to show signs of reversal, Ethereum as well, even XRP, what you can do is gamble that this is the bottom as we're retesting right here. You can go into BitYard, go right here, type in, like I said, we're going to do a thousand on leverage right here. We're going to click buy long, confirm. And now our position is in. So we're we're good. Position is set. Um, eventually, when you start to see the potential gains or losses, and you can get, let's say we're up about 10% right there, you click settings, and then you can create the uh, the stop loss. And instead of it being 900%, uh, which is crazy, you could do 300, which is 30%. And then eventually, you can set it to like 100, which will guarantee you a percentage of at least a 10% lock-in, a 10% reward. So I'm going to set this down to uh, 200 right now, minus 200, um, just to lower that stop loss. I don't want to lose 90% all at once. So now we have this in. You can see that we're up about uh, 0.46. It's about a four or seven dollar cent, uh, seven dollar return on investment. But we're going to let it rock because I am pretty certain that the coin is going to start to swing back up higher. I think we've hit the bottom. Not only am I looking at XRP to judge this, this does look very promising that there might be a small retestment. If you want to test it out or even at a more, uh, I would say, not necessarily beginner, but maybe a higher risk trader, you you could slightly consider that this might swing us back up to 46 cents and uh, moving up so on and so forth. I am pretty much uh, certain we might be able to see the coin start to swing back up to at least 48 cents in the very short term. You can see right now I'm already up 2.53 percent. Uh, I made $25. If we want right now to guarantee that profit, we can then set a zero um, or sorry, we can set it to point. Let's do, um, where is the price? 0.43, we're currently at, let's see what the price is currently at, 0.43. So we could do, let's see, like, um, we could do 100 maybe. That's a 10% stop loss. I don't know if that's where the current price is, 0.4379. Now let's do maybe a, a 50. That's a 5% gain. We're up about 2%. So let's do 2% uh, right here, 0.4344. That's currently where the price is at. We can confirm this right now in the stop loss. I think I already just... Uh Put that in so that might actually fill but um you can see we're pretty much going to lock in by moving the stop loss just a little bit higher than where we currently entered and that's how we would create that uh that guaranteed safety net once we start to see markets enter into green now moving on to these other altcoins this is another sign of reversal and this is a big one uh it's between i believe it's litecoin yes here we are you can see litecoin is forming some sort of double bottom formation where litecoin is actually starting to swing back down that is not what I wanted to make. Um, it's starting to swing back down, bounce up to retest its moving average, fall back down again, and we're literally looking for this level right here. We're looking for this movement right now because the double bottom is what I wanted to see within XRP which we didn't, we actually bounced lower than the prior uh, the prior low that we had before. So it isn't necessarily looking more like a, a, a double bottom, but Litecoin is. Litecoin looks like it's having a double bottom formation. The coin looks like it wants to swing up and it looks like it's building up pressure right now to bounce off of its uh, MACD right now and head back up. You can see right here, it looks like it wants to swing back inside of it. So there's a good chance as well. We can maybe see Litecoin on the four hour swing back up, maybe retest 192. Um, you can see that is a bullish signal. Uh, these are really big uh, flags of reversals forming. So let's see exactly how we play out on Litecoin as things are starting to look fairly good for some of these cryptocurrencies. The double bottom looks fairly nice. We have Bitcoin, which looks okay as well. Um, Unfortunately, yesterday we actually managed to breach below our prior high, and that wasn't necessarily a good thing. We had this beautiful uptrend that we I was pretty excited about that we were going to hold, but the second we saw a breach below here, we knew to get out and exit positions on Bitcoin. The second we saw the green band uh, break through the resistance right here, or the support, we knew to get out because it was going to kind of tumble. And once again, it fell inside of this channel. So we know now for certain that this is really not a big playing out. It's not playing out fairly well with this uptrend right here. 
What I'm starting to notice, though, is we are starting to see a very similar pattern forming on Bitcoin as we've had in the past, where we see a big run, we see a big correction, and then we do it again. You can see we're kind of repeating that same pattern. We may actually fall a little bit lower. I just want to get a percentage now. Percentages are harder to do because of how overextended Bitcoin is. But you can see the price drop was about a 29% drop on the coin overall from the last couple of months. And we're only down about 20 right now. So if we pull this all the way back down you can see 29 percent would be a pull all the way down to forty thousand dollars so we have to keep uh, an optimistic approach on that that bitcoin may be seeing um a potential pull all the way back down to forty thousand um that would be about a 30 percent drop very similar to what we saw in the past here but for the most part we are starting to see a very similar pattern and we're starting to see bitcoin repeat itself where the coin is starting to swing down we saw a correction, then it's doing the same exact thing. This is a little more steep in comparison, but we may actually be able to hold above $45,000. We may be able to, you know, kind of ping ourselves inside of there. But um, I'm kind of a little nervous as, ha as to how Bitcoin's trading right now. I, I do think I have more of a, an opportunity to capitalize off runs on XRP as well as Litecoin for right now. Ethereum looks okay, though, hitting its bottom support. There could be possible reversal, but my, I'm really just hyper-focused on Bitcoin right now. The way the coin wants to pan out, the fact that it's uh, it's kind of forming the similar pattern that we saw in the past. We had a very similar pattern here. We could draw this out too if we grab the uh, the bars pattern. We start it from here, end it. Let's say right here. Yeah, I think that would be okay. Let's let's just grab the whole thing and then apply itself to right now. Boom, something like this is what I'm starting to see. So you can see for the most part in regards to reference to the similarities in pattern that we had in history, you can see ultimately as it had its first dip, its first dip is right here, very similar to the past here. It immediately had a first, it, it's its second little pump here, ultimately heading down to slower, higher lows. There's an opportunity that this coin on the first dip can now bottom off at this support here, swing back higher, and then head back down. It's very possible. So what I'm noticing is the first dip it had, we actually grabbed support and headed up higher. Even though we are starting to form these lower highs, the same thing could be happening right now. We could be starting to form that pattern where the next step in Bitcoin would be after this big correction we had, we swing up a little bit higher, create a new lower high, and then kind of head lower, and then see the bigger pump at the end of this. So what I'm looking for now is a short-term swing. That's really the next step that I'm anticipating on Bitcoin. The main thing is, is this support going to hold or is it going to be broken? $44,000, 44579 Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video, guys. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. We're so close to hitting 30,000 subs. Hopefully we can do that today. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.